What's up, y'all? Back in the summer of last year, we held our first contest here with Cardavox Academy, and uh, the contest was a lot bigger than we thought it was going to be, and it was a lot more of a logistical feat <laughs> than we had anticipated. Today, we are going to be talking about three of the winners of the uh, the contest that we had, but let's talk a little bit about the context the, the context of the contest first. Being a vocal-focused channel and community, we wanted to have a vocal contest, right? Now, this whole contest was organized by our local chaos fiend and my business partner, partner Alex, and he reached out to UK-based studio Floodgate Audio, who's worked with Acrania, A Trust Unclean, Shush, Vexed, and other bands as well, and he had them actually write an original song that everybody would scream to. You could write your own lyrics, you could write your own patterns, you could do cleans, you could do harsh vocals, fry, a false chord, whatever you wanted, but it had to be original to you. Now. It was a lot of fun because we got a lot of different, uh, a lot of different submissions, more, a lot more than we had anticipated. And they were all anonymous, right? They had that six digit code. So we had no idea who they were. Now in the first round, anyone was free to participate. The only caveat was that it had to be raw, unedited vocals, no layering, no, no vocal effects, nothing, just your raw voice on the track. It's one thing to be able to create a really cool guttural or a really cool uh, tunnel sound. It's another to know how to interact with and interplay with a song in a way that works, right? Now, in the second round, all of these contestants, they could let loose. They could double track their vocals, they could add effects, uh, they could rewrite sections, they could do pretty much whatever they wanted as long as they weren't overproducing the vocals to a way where they were creating sounds that they are not actually humanly capable of doing. A little bit of reverb, a little bit of delay, some panning, some compression, all of that was totally fine. Um, you know, but if you were if you were faking the sound, uh, then it was a disqualification, which actually nobody did. Uh, everything was really, really well done. Now the contest actually had three winners. There was the judges champion, which was basically my choice for my favorite, right? Then there was the community champion, basically the, per the, the person that everybody in the community uh, was able to vote on and decide who they liked. And last but not least, we had a most improved category. So this was for people who didn't quite make the first cut, but we felt could probably get something pretty solid out. And we had a lot of submissions there as well. So that brings us to where we are now. Each of these winners, the judge's choice, the people's champion, and the most improved, they all, as part of their prize, what they were able to do is they were able to work directly with Floodgate Audio to create a really nicely produced, really nicely recorded version of this song for them to call their own. Um, and they were given the freedom to uh, create a video. You know, if we all lived in the same state, I would have loved to, to have it done here, but we had people from all over but they were also given the freedom to create any kind of video they wanted, obviously fitting into YouTube's community guidelines, right? Um, and the stuff that we got was utterly fascinating and so cool. And so we are gonna be watching those three videos here. You can see them at the timestamps below, but I highly suggest watching through all of them because there's so much here to talk about and so much here to see. So let's go ahead and let's talk about our first contestant. So the judges champion, my choice for the winner of the competition was Lord Zelzer himself, who is an amazing vocalist. He's got some videos here on YouTube as well. And his submission was absolute fire. I utterly loved it. You know, there's a lot to say about why I loved this, but I think if I could if I could really pin it down to one thing, it was his absolute command over high vocals and his care and dedication he gave to each and every syllable, right? There is there are some sections where his highs even contest, in my opinion, Danny Filth or Johnny Davey in their in their shrieking, absolute masterful uh, production and, and, and quality. And you know, one thing that we noticed across many of the contestants is highs were a struggle for people, and that's totally reasonable. Highs are very very difficult for a lot of people. With with Zelzer. Not at all. These highs were were smooth as butter, released with ease, and it was a delight to listen to the whole song. I remember giving it a perfect score all across the board. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and let's check out Lord Zelzer's uh, submission. He wrote the entire uh, section of lyrics, the patterns, the vocals, and he named the song The Bearer of News. So here it is, The Bearer of News, Lord Zelzer. Let's go. This sob. Yeah. 
so hopefully you loved that as much as I did. I feel like Zelzer killed it. Um, what was your favorite part? Put it in the comments below if you liked that uh, if you liked that submission as much as I did. Plus the video itself was really neat. The whole thing was just so so super cool. Now for the community choice winner. In actuality, um, this this guy was in top five for for the judges' choice, and it was an agonizing decision. Um, who we have here is Shane. I'm sorry if I say your last name, Shane Jost. Jost. He's actually the vocalist for Cognitive, which is a pretty big uh, signed band that. I really enjoy. And when I found out that it was Shane, I was so excited because I was like, yo, dude, you are such a good guy. Um, I, I've talked with him personally before and he's just a lovely dude. Um, and I really liked his submission as well. And there were a lot of things that really, that really just ugh, were the icing on the cake in this song. Some of the things I found most enticing here were the absolutely tight and shrieking pig squeal type sounds he had on his high vocals. Shane's got a really beautiful fry sound that I think a lot of people um, would would be jealous of because it is very distinct, very unique, and, and very, very powerful and shrill and piercing, but in a very good way. Like, Think about the first time you saw Lord of the Rings, especially if you saw it in the in, the, in a theater, that Nazgul shriek, right? It's shrill and it kind of hurts your ears, but also in a way that all of the audio files in the theater were just like, oh, that is tasty. Very, very similar here. I could listen to Shane's highs all day. Also, we had some clean singing here, which at the time, you know, Shane Shane certainly had had done stuff like that before, but this was from from what I remember speaking with him about, this was a little bit of a new endeavor for him and I think he nailed it. It sounds wonderful in the chorus. So be sure to give Shane some love in the comments below. Let him know um, if you love if you love the track and if you haven't checked out Cognitive yet, click click the link in the description below because they're very good. Let's check out Shane's entry, The Nightmare Weaver. Here we go.
yeah, Shane, Nightmare Weaver, bruh. That's some good, that's some good stuff. Some good stuff. Last but not least, this brings us to our most improved category. And like I said in the intro to this whole video, the most improved category was such a was such a fun one. You know, there were a lot of people in this competition who had never written a song before. They'd never written vocals before, and that was part of the challenge, right? There's a lot more to being a vocalist than having a cool sounding scream. There's also the whole aspect of how do you communicate a message? What kind of timing do you use on your voice? Do you go fast? Do you go slow? Staccato, legato, what kinds of things can you do to enhance the delivery of, of the message you're trying to convey through your voice, right? Be it clean, be it harsh, whatever it may be. Now, there were a lot of participants who were just right on the cusp, right on the cusp of getting past that first round. And so they were able to, you know, do a second shot. And uh, the winner of all those second shots was the winner of the most improved category. And the winner of this category was such a lovely soul. Her name is Lena, and she wrote a song called Straight Lines, and it is phenomenal. Now, she later on uh, ended up being a student of mine for a little while, and we made so much progress together, and we had such a great time. Um, now, as far as I'm aware, from when I spoke to her about it when she was, you know, creating all this, um, this is the first full song she had ever done. She had been practicing singing for a long time, but this was her first full endeavor. So make sure to show her some love in the comments below. She did an excellent job. It's very black metal. It's very, it's got kind of like a, like, it's not like full black metal, but it's got like that black metal vibe. It's very spooky. The video is wild. I think you're gonna love it a lot. So again, show her some love in the comments below. Let's check out Straight Lines by Lena. Let's go. Waiting through a world of order, searching for violence, sinking in every tab, drowning in escapable dread, minds hiding on her own. I'm just a mess of distress, in death and darkness, taking, taking anything. The rounded boys are bits and snakes, feeding on my now, my future.
Yeah, Lena, excellent work. I absolutely love that video. I absolutely love that song. I can and have, I could listen to it quite a bit and I have listened to it quite a bit and I'm sure I'll continue to listen to all three of these because they're just, they're just solid. They're solid songs and I'm, I'm so, so grateful and I had so much fun seeing these come in. Now, to everybody who's who's watched through this whole video, thank you so much for celebrating with us and, and hanging out and watching these, uh, watching these, uh, contest winners strut their stuff on these songs. They did an excellent job um, and it was a lot of fun. Last but not least, a huge thank you to all of the participants for your patience. This contest was way bigger than we thought. We thought it was gonna be very small, very quick, you know, done done deal sort of thing um but it was it was a big it was a big endeavor um and so we're glad we could finally get these out we're glad that y'all could finally coordinate time to uh to mix and master and produce everything with floodgate audio and get these videos done and by the way if you're watching if you enjoyed the song that was written the all of the production all of the instrumentation everything was written by uh floodgate audio and if you're looking for audio production if you're looking for mixing mastering even ghostwriting you need a song written for your project um like we did because you know even being a musician myself i i don't write whole songs i write vocal lines and sometimes a guitar melody here or there so I know that for me, if I needed uh, ghostwriting, I would definitely go to Floodgate Audio because the stuff that they, I mean, just this song is, this song is powerful and amazing. And it was really cool. We said, you know, hey, um, write for us a song that can exhibit a lot of different vocal styles across the metal and rock spectrum. And he was just like, cool, done deal, you got it. Very impressive. But anyways, thank you so much to everybody who participated. Thank you so much to everybody who watched. And of course, congratulations to Zulzer. Shane and Lena, much love to all three of you. And, uh, well, I already said the much love part, so now I messed up my own sign-off. You know what, we're keeping this in the video. What do I do without my sign-off? Much love, many thanks, goodbye, who am I, what even is existence? See you later.